Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. Today we're going to talk about how to make pinnable pins on Pinterest that for your Etsy shop and your Shopify store. And our two products that we're going to be looking at pinning for are Birch Bees. This is my friend Rebecca's Shopify store, and I believe this is an Amazon store. So she's doing it to get Amazon affiliate commissions. And she's using her marketing expertise to be able to sell things. The other one is going to be this uh, set of handmade plain cufflinks that are from Etsy. So two different kinds of ways. But what we're going to do is we're going to start first with Rebecca's shaving kit. So the very first thing you want to do is go to Pinterest because that's what we're making it for. And here we see, yep. A whole bunch of shaving kits, right? Your, your, and she can post her just her shaving kit right up there. Maybe there's a cute little, cute little ones like that's kind of cute if you had a dog. But for that, you would have to take a picture of your product with a dog. And for a lot of us, um, I was selling some T-shirts before. And to buy every t-shirt and then show it on a person would be astronomically expensive. So for a lot of us that do Shopify or not handmade items, what happens is we literally have these dorky pictures to try to use in our marketing. And that doesn't work on Pinterest. You may get some click-throughs or some saves for it, but you're not going to get that same Pinterest juice that you get if you have super cute pins that people want to save. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a gift search for shaving kit. And then we're going to go down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oops. Sorry about that. Shaving kit. And then we're going to go down a little bit. And what Pinterest will do down here is they'll give us some other ideas. And that's excellent. So we know we're going to click on men's grooming. in a little bit and then we're going to go back up here to the top what we're looking for right at this step is a bunch of words because it feels like it's very hard to come up for marketing copy on your pins what are you going to say what are you going to do it's super easy pinterest tells you so we have men's gift for men's gift so we're just going to write all these down men's gift for men's gift uh, we have bat, four men, so we already have four men. Oh, just for, for men gift. Oops. You gotta be kind of careful with that. It's not a bag. It's not vintage. It is a box. Awesome. Okay, so box. Super. And then it gets into pattern leather travel soaps. Not really my gig. So let's click on that men's grooming. And here we go. This is way more of what I would like to have um, to see in order to be able to make a cool pin that would be interesting. So here is nine products to up your grooming game. For you, I wrote a whole post on this. You can watch this, but then you have a whole post with, with exactly how to do it. And then a printable item. But yesterday I looked this up for this post and here's the three that we found. And this is actually the one we're going to try to make today for um, Rebecca. So, but as you can see, there's that grooming tips. There's going to be uh, all different kinds of nice pictures. Now, this eight basic hair grooming tips every man should follow is a blog post. We don't want to have to write a blog post. Rebecca does not like to blog. She just wants to make a pin that will get people to her product, which is on Shopify. We're not trying to make this convoluted. This is for e-commerce, not for blogging, which makes a huge difference. So let's start looking at what kind of words we have now. We have manscaping. I don't know if I want to do that, but products is good. Products products okay tips hacks beard beard yay beard we forgot to write down shaving kit so we need to have shaving kit because that's what it is 
And then facial hair, maybe facial hair. All right, we'll do facial hair. I don't know if I'll bring that in because just standing on its own, it may be a little bit weird, but so now we have keywords. We know what the pins look like. You could pick any of these pins. Yesterday I picked, um, I made this one look like that. Today we're gonna make this pin right here. Now let's talk a little bit about this. Is this stealing? Are we stealing by looking at a popular pin and trying to emulate it? I promise you the pin that we make is going to be similar in looks, but if you think about it, seven grooming mistakes men make, that's for, um, now if we went and we said, we're gonna do, find that picture. We're gonna do a search for that picture. We're gonna do, uh, grooming kit for, then that's stealing, right? We're not trying to steal from anybody. We're trying to emulate the look of their pin. So let's go back to the one we're gonna look at. Three important tips to manage your manly beard from Live Bearded. Okay, our next step is to go over to Canva and you need to sign up for Canva. It's totally free, no credit card. And you're gonna have something like this and it's gonna say create a design, and you can say presentation, you can make all kinds of stuff in Canva, but we're gonna type in here, Pinterest. As you're doing this, if you're doing it on Instagram, I would kind of set up um, like the same kind of look for uh, Instagram, or you could do it just in the middle. All right, so we need to look at this, and we need a bar at the top, and then a picture, and then a bar at the bottom. So we're gonna come over here on the left here, to see if we find any, oh, look at that. So this one is a bar at the top, a bar at the bottom, and then this looks like kind of a collage. Whew, maybe we should try that. So that could be one of the ones that we do. Very cool, I like this. Okay, so what you wanna do is as soon as you get over here, you want to delete these pictures because this is, um, when you see this little cloudy sky, you know you can drag a picture in there. That's the only time you can drag a picture in. If you, ha if you don't have cloudy sky, then you're gonna just be plopping it on top and it makes it weird. So you're gonna go over to your uploads and yesterday I already uploaded it, but we're gonna upload another one. But I have, so we're using this, so I want kind of a manly, dark thing. And look, this is a tall picture. So let's drag our manly, dark guy over. If you click on it and you want him over a little bit, you can move him over somewhat. That's okay. Can we move him over a little bit more? Nope, that's all we can do. So you know what? I can totally live with that. No bother. Okay. So this is just... It appears, and I'm doing this on the fly because if I just show you my perfect world, then that's not going to make help be very helpful when you're actually struggling to try to do this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say save image as. I like to save them on my desktop. So I'm going to say Bert's bees, and that's uh, uh, one, right? Doesn't matter. We're not doing anything with this. And then I'd like to show, because remember one of our words is uh, box. I also want to show it in the box. So now I'm going to say save image as box. And we're going to name this Burt's Bees 2. And I just put these on my desktop because I'm not going to save these. These aren't precious pictures to me. I can always go to the, to the e-commerce site. It's not as if I'm doing anything like that. So now we have to come over to our design and we want to say upload an image and we want to upload our two birch bees now this is super fun if you click shift while you do this then you can upload both of them at once or you could just upload one and then upload another so we're going to say upload those and when they're done processing we're going to slide them in here and slide it in here nope there we go oops there we go. All right, now I think that one came out beautifully. What's up with this one? 
he didn't come in, so we want to just kind of take his little corners and make him fit better. Is he going to fit better? Uh, I don't like how he's fitting. He just doesn't fit, so he doesn't have enough space around the edge for what I'm trying to accomplish. So do you give up? Or do you say, look at this guy, let's try this one. Save image as. We're going to say Burt's Bees 3. We're going to upload that. Upload Burt's Bees 3. And it's going to depend on whether we can get it squishy enough. That is the technical term. And that came in perfectly. Look at that. So now we have this amazing picture. Now, I don't really think that this picture is the one. Maybe this one I'll like better. Ooh, I like that much better. See? And the reason I like it better is because the the man, the gray, the green man was faded, and these are more um, bright and full color. You'll find that as you go. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look and see what does it say? Three important tips to manage your manly beard. So we don't need the bash to remember this thing, whatever this is. We can delete this. We don't need those words. And we may be able to just, nope, that's part of this. So what we need is we want to say, um, what are our words? So men's grooming, shaving kit, men's, oops, hope if I type in the Canva thing. Men's shaving kit from Burt's, does it have an apostrophe? I don't think so. Burt's bees. Nobody's going to notice if you mess that up. All right, so we have this kind of thing, but I liked how this had like kind of a more manly look with the blue on the top and the blue on the bottom. So now we have to go over here to elements, and we just want a shape. So we're going to get a shape, and we need a shape like this. So we're just going to do this. It's going to be a square when we start, which is fine. And we got to pull this over. We got to pull this up to right there so it matches the top of our man. And then we want to say, see this little button? Oh, that's copy page. Move down, move down, actually this is a little funky so what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole thing, we want to get that square, there we go, and we're going to hit delete, we want to get rid of that because we want this bar to be here and when we click on the bar up here in the left hand corner we can change the color so I'm going to change I don't even think that's dark enough I want this to be black and I want to get rid of that little gap right there so I'm going to nudge it down one perfect and then I'm going to take this thing out and you know if you're having trouble with this you could uh you could actually just go back and find one that actually had bars because this didn't seem like it actually had bars. We're kind of jury rigging the bars in, but it's, oh, that has a border. We don't want that. Where was our nice one? This one. That's a square. All right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say copy this. Oh, that's page two. Let's undo. We don't want that. All right, so can we say control C, control V, copy, control C, control V, copy comes in. And now we have, and I'm loving the look of this. This is exactly kind of what we're going for. Now we do have three in here. We could probably go back and do something else, but we want to really hit home that this is an e-commerce item. And the black all goes with Birch Bees Banding. That's excellent. So now we need to add text back in. And this is the cool thing about Canva is if you're not a uh, if you're not an expert at text. 
Let's see, where did our text box go? There it is. So now we have to try to find it. There it is. All right. Oh, that's our square. That's okay. All right. So we lost our text box. No big deal. I'm going to put it over here where I can actually see it because if I put it over the black, it's black. So I want to change this color to white. So we're going to change this color to white. We're going to come into here, this part, and change this color to white. We may change it later, but we just need to make it so we can see it. So now we have brunch. All right. I love that. That looks really nice. And then the little lines that come up are helping you line it up. And then I probably want something at the bottom. Uh, we're going to put it over here so we don't lose it again, right? And we're going to highlight this. We're going to make this white. And I don't need this part because that's too much. We don't want too many different text elements on here. And, uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of text elements. So we want to get rid of this. There was a whole bunch of them in there. So we want to get rid of those. Okay. All right. Now. You should really never have more than two different kinds of fonts. And here we have one kind of font that's kind of cute, and then we have this font at the bottom. And I'm going to change this to say presented by Rebecca and Co. All right. So I need to make this a lot smaller, so you're just going to come here. Perfect. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Presented by Rebecca and Co. Because I want to do some branding for her. Um, we could do, if she had a website like Rebecca and Co com, you could put your website in there. Um, but here we want to do men's. We want to look for, so we could do, we're going to actually do shaving kit. And then we just need to make, I want it to be on one line, so we're just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. So a couple things we could do. Number one, we could move it out a little bit. But I think I still need to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so shaving kit. And now we have this fun, I like this font that's kind of fun and we're going to come back to our words um, and we're going to say men's grooming gift box from Bert's Bees all natural Beard products. Now, I don't like that. That moved over, right? So I can try again to see if I can make this wider. Now we have to be careful because it's kind of getting a little, getting a little busy up there. We don't. We want to leave some some design space around the words. So the way that we're going to fix this is we're going to just make this a tiny bit smaller. Nope. Let's try it again. 21. Nope. All right. Now we got it on one line. So could be that we go, you know, we take a look. It seems a little small. I don't know that anybody's going to be able to read this. And what happened is this is a very wide font. Roboto is a very wide font. So we could find something that's a little bit of a skinnier font. Anton. Oh, perfect. So Anton's a little bit of a skinnier font, and it kind of looks like this one, so we're not we're not mixing up too many fonts to where people will get tired of us. Let's see what happens. If can we pull it out and get all right. Just gonna have to make it a little bit smaller. But I like the spacing of this better. Um, a lot better than the other one. There we go. And there we have it. And that's it. That's all I would do. I would pin this and I would see what people said. 
I might also do the same thing and just pull in, um, so let's download this for Rebecca. There's two types of files, PNG, which is high quality, which you want for Pinterest, and then the JPEG you're going to want for your um, e-commerce site or for um, if, you're, if you're posting this on a blog. But we're going to say PNG and we're going to say download. But we can also try this. Remember we have, I don't know what this is going on here. Oh, that's that. Okay, so I'm glad this happened. So this is kind of getting in our way. It's on a top layer. So I want to get rid of this picture. What is this picture? There we go. And I want to see what happens if we drag a cool dude in. And then we can just move this guy back over. So this is kind of what you're doing with this marketing that we're doing here is you're kind of implying that if a lady, because it's all, almost all ladies on um, Pinterest, if a lady buys this shaving kit, this Burt Bees shaving kit for her man, he's going to be hot and look cool on a motorcycle. So, uh, and I wouldn't just do, like, I wouldn't try to pick one. I would do both of them and share them onto different boards and see if they get um, different responses. One of them may go great. One of them may not be so great. Um, you're going to write different keywords in your, when you do your listing. I'm not talking about that today. We're just doing design today. But that is a really nice one. Remember when we talked about whether this is going to be stealing or not? We started with this beard guy, and we ended up with this kind of really cool look, which I think is actually cooler than the beard guy, and that's okay. We're just using those first ones as inspiration that we know Pinterest likes already. Um, you know, if you wanted to do a third try, you could maybe do it, that's kind of a, 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 a blue. So we, we have to move our shaving a kit again because remember she's, she, she's at the top layer, so she's kind of messing us up. And you could change the color of that box to blue. But I think this is really good. So once we download, this is the very best thing. So say you've made this and you're like, okay, um, I feel like I've, <laughs> I think I've worked really hard on this. It might take you a little bit longer to do it than it takes me, but what happens is I'm going to show you from yesterday's. So say you, you do this and you're like, okay, you know, it took forever. Well, you can always just say, we're going to go back, right? This is my one I did yesterday. We're going to go back and we're going to click on these little three bars and we're going to say, make a copy. And then you could do the same kind of thing. We're going to go to our uploads and say we put green guy in there. Oh, we don't want to do that. Don't forget, we got to delete our guy first. Delete our guy. And then when you go onto there, you get that. And then I may have a totally different look for this. Let's change this to kind of yellow. And that may be a totally different look that we could do in, that was 30 seconds, right? So the first one kind of takes a while, but the rest of them are no big deal. Now, I promised you free, and where the heck did I get these cool pictures of guys with beards? Like, was this it's a miracle? Am I stealing them? No, I have the best thing for you. So there's... There's a kind of photo sharing site that is called Creative Commons COO. Creative Commons COO. And what that means is that they give you the right to use the pictures commercially without attribution, meaning you don't have to give them credit. Now, I did give them credit because when I can, I give them credit. Why not? Um, but I have a whole... Um, a whole list of these that you can use 
without worrying. So the first thing I did was I went and I looked for guys with beards on morgue file. And so I did a uh, beard, right? Cause I'm looking for beards and man was the selection poor for this. Like how would I use this in marketing? Those are beaded flowers, Santa Claus beards. Like this isn't hot. This isn't what's like, he looks angry. Um, this guy looks homeless. I would not use those. So then I was like, okay, fine. Let's go to the next one. And I went to Unsplash. And when I did a search for beard in Unsplash, there were all these guys. So I picked this guy, this guy, and this guy. So don't, you know, if you can't find a good picture that matches what you want, just go to a different site and look for them. Okay. So now let's talk about, so you're done. If you, if you, um, want to go you could be done but i want to show you the uh show it to you one more time all the way from start to finish with the cuff links and i'm going to do this pretty fast this is how i would do it so i'm going to go and remember we did that search for where's our search for pilot gifts pilot gifts So this is, this is like a two, two up on top and it's the perfect holiday present. I like that look. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to say Pinterest graphic. Now we need one that has a top and a bottom, right? Two, two kind of areas. And we're going to just come down here. These are the templates. And we could do it a bunch of different ways. This is kind of jingly, right? That's kind of fun and cute. So if you wanted something fun and cute, this is how easy it is to do. We're going to come here. We're going to, oh, we want to get the big picture. So we're going to save image as, and these are going to be uh, airplanes. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to upload them, upload them. Oops, got to wait for him to upload and drag him in here. Now, this isn't exactly the right, like we need wider. That isn't really the right shape for us, which we need to know, right? Oh, here, we can move this over. So, so now we can move it over a little bit. Let's see if we drag it in. That's pretty darn close. I could cheat that. That's excellent. All right. But this kind of, this thing to me does not feel like cool. My boyfriend is a pilot. It just feels a little dinky. But now I got something I can work with. So what's our pin look like? That's our, okay. So we have the picture. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, see, aviation gifts for pilots. This looks a lot like ours. I wonder if we, maybe we'll put that, put that box up at the top. All right, let's move our box. What's up with this box? Okay, our box is here. So number one, we could just make this a white box, right? If we want this to be all white, no big deal. If we wanted to, we could add a, just a plain shape at the top. See, this is a normal shape. We would make this, well, we, we're doing Etsy. So this is an Etsy product. So we may do this, right? If we want to highlight that this is an Etsy handmade item. All right, so now we need to move this down. I actually like, oh, we're probably getting that same problem. We need to just start and delete these because we're making boxes. We're lining up the things. We don't want it to be a a um, kind of kerfuffle with our fonts so we're just deleting these you just go over here you gotta maybe do it a few times eventually there we go we deleted it i'm just clicking on there and hitting delete sometimes 
It just does the words. Sometimes it does the whole thing. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we have a beautiful, clean picture. I'm not trying to change the pictures at all um, because I don't want to. I think it would be harder to do. Um, and this is not, you know, we're not trying to um, cure cancer here. I'm trying to make a pin. Now, I like this Captain and Robbie font. I don't care what it says. We're going to say... What is his shop? Perfect cufflinks on Etsy. So where's our, okay. So we're going to say perfect cufflinks on Etsy. Okay. It's kind of manly looking, right? We need it to be a little bit butch. Now, mostly girls are going to buy it, but. Oh, perfect. That looks great. All right, so now we're just going to drag this up here. Perfect cufflinks on Etsy. Now we don't know what to say. That's bad. Well, let's get something we like. So we could always use that same font. Remember, we don't want too many different fonts. But I do want it to be kind of cool. Oh, here's fancy. This seems a little fancy fancy, right, these cufflinks? All right, so that's good. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Maybe I want this to be a little less harsh. Oh, I like that much better. Okay, so the, the bar at the top, because it had color and because it had black, it was just totally taking over. But now that we scaled that gray back, it's a lot less um, thing. So first off, let's see what he has. Silver airplane cufflink. So that's what it factually is, right? And then we're going to say handmade. Right? Because it's on Etsy. And then we looked up pilot gifts. So boyfriend, four men. So we could do aviation gifts for men. We could do pilot gifts for men airplane gifts for men but i think i'm gonna say aviation gifts for men let's see what that looks like not too bad and because we have so much space left over um we could do we could do something like this we're going to grab the same look because i don't want to, remember i don't want too many um fonts sorry i'm in the way again okay so i'm going to just delete this text i'm going to delete this text and i'm going to get his domain name and put it here now is anybody ever going to type out that whole domain name probably not but it just looks pretty it kind of balances this bottom so it's not just all so um so weird and and i feel like that's very pretty i gotta see if this is in the middle sometimes if you step back you can kind of see that things aren't exactly lined up the way you'd like them to and that is I don't know I don't like this font now because we don't have that font anywhere so I'm gonna go grab one more of these fonts where to go maybe because I didn't put it in here there we go okay so I don't like that we have this extra font you know at, it, it was okay when I started but this wound up turning out to be super classy and nice so I want this to be nope it's gonna be this one so this font and we're going to say perfect cufflinks. Maybe shop. Yeah, shop. Okay. So now we need to make it smaller. We were down here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
this part. Oh, here we go. We gotta get this wedding weekend out because we don't need that. And then we've got to make this again a little bit less in our face. I kind of like that it's up there. And then we're gonna do something fun. So I'm gonna delete this welcome to. I was trying to do it so I didn't have to delete it because sometimes I'm lazy. But that's fine. We're gonna get we gotta find this. Okay, so we wanna get this kind of that's fine. And then we gotta get it in the middle. Okay, excellent. All right, download. So we're gonna download this as a PNG. Download. Perfect. And now, let's be honest, I think that the, the orange bar we started with at the top is okay, but what if we didn't have that orange bar up there? Does that make this a little bit fancier? Um, we could make this, I'm trying to get rid of this text box. Okay, it's gone. I'm trying, so we'll make this. Now we're going to download this one too. And there we have it. We have really good, we can go back home because then it'll show us all our things that we've done. And this took us 36 minutes, but honestly, if I wasn't talking to you, it wouldn't be that long nearly at all. And we have all these cool pins I have to find them. Let's see. Oh, here we go. So we have that one, we have this one, we have this one, see, a little bit different, but still fun, and then we have the other aviation one without, oops, excuse me, without the bar at the top. So. Hopefully that helps. I, like I said, I have a blog post that I'll link in the top here that shows you every single step. So you don't have to try to guess. It does have the walkthrough um, printable, so you can hit print and it will make you a super pretty printable, pick a template, delete the current picture, do all that. And you can just put that right beside you and save it. Hopefully that helps, Tara Jacobson. Marketing Artfully. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe at the end.